All right, today is my car today. Uh, trying to get some handles for a knife that I've made uh, for a buddy of mine. And um, I'm gonna be using some orange t-shirt, cotton, uh, very simple, three layers. And then I've got a pattern here set up with some burlap. Uh, it is black, green, tan, green, black, green, tan, green, black, whatever. Uh, I believe there is one. Well, 13 layers, uh, plus the three of the t-shirt with a total of 16 layers. That should give me right about Know, 12 30 seconds something like that um, not real thick but thick enough because the handle on the knife that I made is is actually quite thick um, it's a quarter of an inch um, it's gonna be a very nice hunting knife um, camp knife bushcraft whatever he wants to use it for um, I'm gonna be real happy to give it to him anyway we're gonna go ahead and get started uh, as you can see I've put uh, Wax paper down on everything. My mold here, uh, all the way around, inside, outside. Uh, I've also covered my top plate uh, and the second top plate just, just to raise it up a little bit in here for me to be able to measure and make sure that everything's perfectly flat. With that being said, uh, I'm gonna get some stuff mixed up and uh, we'll get back with you. All right, I've got about nine ounces. That's what I think is probably gonna work pretty good of Bondo's fiberglass resin, locally available and easy to get my hands on. Comes with a hardening tube. Um, it recommends uh, about 10 drops per ounce. I'm only gonna use about seven drops per ounce. Uh, it hardens up just as good, just as good um, and it gives me just that little bit more working time. Um, you really don't want it getting you know solid by the time you're done and trying to clamp and, and trying to hurry. Um, so, we're gonna go ahead and put our 70 drops in here. Time, I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on. Two pairs. save these little pans at any time we get any kind of to-goes or microwave plates or anything like that for this kind of purpose. Disposable completely and free. Got my mold, t-shirts set up in reverse. Uh, first ones first. And we're gonna go ahead and start.
ridiculous amount of um, resin in here. So this is working out very well. By doing this it also really forms it to this mold too. You get all those little hairs and stuff on the sides. It tends to really get rid of those. Or you can pull them out like me. Alright, so we are done there. Kind of wipe up this outside. Gonna pull off our first pair of gloves. All right, we're gonna stick that aside. I'm gonna take my mold here. Go ahead and put the first top plate in, set it down in a second top plate. This top plate just allows me to make sure that everything's even all the way around, and that's literally the only reason for it. Plus, sometimes my if it's too small, my um, clamps won't necessarily go down inside as well as I'd like them to. We're going to just get it on real quick. Set up in the middle. Get the other one. down slowly. Um, I, I personally don't really want to clamp it as hard as a lot of people do, um, specifically because I really want um, a little bit of that resin in between uh, to fill the gaps. Uh, however, I do tighten it very tight. I do see a lot of people with, there goes my clean, clean gloves. As you can see, there's plenty of resin um, in here, and it will seep out on all sides. Another good thing is keeping an old t-shirt around. Kind of wipe your gloves off, makes things a little easy on yourself. Another clamp. I'm not too worried about getting fiberglass resin on my clamp. Um, these are obviously Harbor Freight uh, cheapies. All 
right, now, now is where I tend to go around and do some measurements and squeeze appropriately on certain sides in order to keep my levelness so that my piece of my carter comes out nice and perfect, perfectly square and nice and flat. I don't have to do as much sanding. We're looking pretty good. I'll try to remove some of this just so I can see better. And maybe you guys can. Now I know if you guys are watching this video, you guys have watched a billion probably my card of videos and I'm no different I don't set anything apart um, I tend to over do things probably more than I should but um, my stuff usually comes out relatively well um, I have had my mess ups and I have had my practices and things are okay looks like we're pretty even as far as pressure goes. I'm liking where we're at. We got a little bit more on this one. A little bit more on that one. It looks like we're pretty good. We're going to let that dry for at least six hours or so. Um, and I'll come back and we'll uh, demold and uh, show you the finished product afterwards. All right, we're here. Let's um, undo this bad boy and see what we got. Okay, well, we're all set. Got it pulled out, trimmed down. Um, came out absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm really, really liking where it is. Um, solid black, you can, you can see some of the green through it. Um, come out really nice. Gonna be a really nice, thick uh, liner with the orange. Um, it's gonna come out really well. Um, you can see here, I can get my whole camera to focus, exactly what it looks like, see if I can get it a little closer. It looks pretty darn good. Anyway, guys, uh, that was another little tutorial. Um, please subscribe, like, uh, you know, do the normal stuff. Uh, have fun, stay tuned.